The Qs finally reclaimed on the close the 366 area, which is the 200 day moving average, which, which is a huge, huge deal. If you guys remember. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend. Well, not weekend, <laughs> too tired. Regular day with midweek uh, update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So the, the, the worst thing um, a trader can hear, okay, the worst word in a trader's vocabulary is um, contraction, right? That's the absolute worst thing because contraction is tight channels. The bulls are not strong enough to succeed. The bears, there's not enough weakness to go lower. They're just sitting in the channels. And that's what we saw uh, for the last three, four days, right guys? We've been watching this whole channel here. Above the five day, we keep on getting rejected. We keep on holding the 10 day moving average. And there was just something yesterday, if you watched last night's video, there was something yesterday that gave us a pretty good sense. We had a shot, right? We had a legitimate shot for stocks to wake up. And if you watched last night's video, you saw this is the first candle, right? To close above the five day moving average. Uh, and this was the highest close in this whole formation. And we started, you know, talking about names that were potentially waking up the AMDs of the world and the videos of the world, right? Um, and slowly but surely today, you know, you had your little moves here and there in the beginning. And then slowly but surely you saw one thing that we did not see in last night's video was deep out of the money call buyers. Again, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second, but we started seeing this kind of mid morning, uh, deep out of the money, short term expiration, uh, call buyers come in, they started to uh, take out the previous day's ranges and all the names that got really smoked uh, on that first move when we broke below the 50 and the 200 day moving average on the queues, all the growth names, right? Uh, the UPSTs of the world, the AFRMs of the world, uh, even, even Facebook, right? We talked about Facebook that, hey, you know, one of these days it, it has to rally. It just doesn't make sense that it's just gonna go straight down and it has to rally. Slowly but surely, all the moons, the stars, and the technical view just from yesterday's session being the highest close in this whole formation, being the first time it reclaimed the five day moving average. Again, I didn't expect this explosion today, knock on wood, it happened, uh, but it happened. And that's the most important part. And we went from literally a cash flow environment uh, in the first hour or so into an incredible expansion channel zone with huge option flares coming in, uh, big bets coming in ahead of earnings. And the most important part, and this is where we talked about in the last several weeks, the queues finally reclaimed on the close, the 366 area, which is the 200 day moving average, which, which is a huge, huge deal. If you guys remember the last time we reclaimed the 200 day moving average, it was very short lived. And that was when Google came out with earnings and you saw they just literally sold Google every single day uh, from the earnings. But what we did see today was really great action for the first time in about a week, week and a half or so, structural, expansion, option flow, everything under the sun. You have earnings, you know, you had big bets into earnings, you had big bets that were beating earnings, right? So this was a lot of really good, uh, very, very good short term market action. Uh, first close above the 200 day moving average. Now we needed a little bit more juice to kind of see if we could get it through. You had Disney after the close come out with really good numbers, right? You know, Disney continues there's no other way to say it. they're kicking ass with this whole Disney plus and everything. They're just really, really kicking ass. So you had Disney uh, knocking out the park. You got Tulo, uh, another technology name uh, doing really, really well. You had even Uber, right? Uber, right? You had Uber coming out uh, with really good earnings as well. And now we're again, we're, we're gapping above. We're gapping above uh, all of today's uh, all of today's channels, which is super duper bullish. 
And the one thing that we said, uh, well, I said, I keep on saying the word we, uh, but the one thing that I said when we closed above the 200 day moving average the first time around on the Google's earnings, wow, you guys remember that whole heavy D? Now that we found love, right? What are we gonna do with it? And apparently we didn't do shit with it because they sold off the market. And now the question is, well, what are we gonna do with it again? Right, now we're getting a second time at love. What are we gonna do it again? But this time, when you look at the daily charts where we were when Google came out and reclaimed the 200 versus where we are now, we're in a lot better shape. And if you look at what we talked about last night, some macro levels were starting to come up. You could see the complete difference kind of where we are now to kind of where we were only five days ago. But most important from a psychological point of view, it just felt really good today, right? After going four days up and down, up and down, up and down, scalp, 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 your mental equity is being burnt, you're losing your mind, you're saying to yourself, just damn it, pick a direction already, I don't care which way you go. And then finally we picked the direction today, and as much as we, we say we don't care which way the market flows, to the downside, to the upside, as long as we have a range, look, let's all be honest, we feel a lot better uh, when the market is strong, everybody's in a better mood, there's much more liquidity, much more participation, and the most important part is, right? People are much happier, and that's the most important part. Uh, and now, when you look at all the names that are coming out of the bottom range, they're coming out with very, very uh, explosive moves. So tomorrow, how can you not give the bulls the benefit of the doubt? Uh, big explosions today. Again, we'll get to, uh, to the pivots in a second. Huge explosions. But more important, we have a really great value on deck coming in for tomorrow as well. And that's where the market gets good. And the market's never good when it's trading linear in a high formation. The, the, the market always is the best trading market. It's coming off a bottom, reclaiming big levels. In this case, it's the 200-day moving average. Now, our next level of interest is the Google highs of roughly 370 or so. And after that, if any close above 370, we start getting back to the 50-day moving average, uh, you, then, then you're looking at roughly, what, 73, 74, and then ultimate, the big matzo ball, is any close above 380 on the queues really lights a fire, and that's the last day you wanna be short. Uh, if you are short, uh, that's the last thing you wanna do is be short when the market reclaims uh, the 50 day moving average. But again, before we put the cart in front of the horse here, let's enjoy kind of where we are today. Let's enjoy the action uh, that we saw today. And the most important part is let's see if we can confirm uh, going into uh, tomorrow. So let's talk about the day. Uh, super aggressive, man. Really, really super duper aggressive today. Uh, again, I, I think I could speak for everybody, right? I, I think I could speak for everybody and say, Damn it, we needed it mentally, man. It really, again, as, as cool as it is scalping here, scalping there, you know, there's a big difference getting two, three dollars on a Tesla and then getting, you know, a seven, eight, nine dollar move on a NVIDIA. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it just felt so, it felt like a piano was kind of lifted on all the traders' shoulders and we were finally able to stay in a position that lasted more than three minutes. And that's what she said. Um, so let's talk about today, right? Apple really didn't do anything, right? It didn't start out, uh, the, the, the day today really didn't start out like gangbusters today. I think we could all, um, I, I think we could all uh, agree on that. You know, Apple uh, gapped up, uh, it went right to that 76.80. Matter of fact, the, low, the high of the day today was 76.77. I still like it for tomorrow, okay? It never confirmed that I was like, oh God, they pulled Apple. Let's see what happens next. Amazon, you know, it, it got above 32.55 traded to like 3270s and that was it. They pulled Amazon and I'm like, oh my God, again, another day. We just can't get out of this range. Just keep scalping, keep scalping, keep scalping. And then slowly but surely guys, we finally got the gift of all gift and that's called macro daily channels. And this is where the, the day went from okay to being all right, right? It was definitely all right. So let's talk about it. Uh, AMD Rockstar today, uh, 130, 130, 20, uh, 130, 06 was um, the earnings highs, needs to confirm those highs. Uh, 3085 is the pre market highs, could see 3250 
on this interval. Again, all you guys, everybody, everybody should be in runners uh, for tomorrow. I don't care how much stock you have. You should be in runners. This thing absolutely went bananas. Uh, here's the 130, uh, which was the earnings highs. And I think it's going to see, if the market continues tomorrow, it should see 130, it should see a 134 handle, uh, which is the 50-day moving average. Great, great move today uh, into the 133 level. Great move. Phenomenal, phenomenal move. Uh, Qualcomm 18180, 182 uh, needs to build. Here was Qualcomm, right? We're just going kind of pivot by pivot. Right, so it took out the 180, 182 area, traded up to 184. Qualcomm has a lot more room to go. Uh, in, in, again, in case you know, in, if we continue to rally, which uh, so far so good. Uh, so that one nuts. Uh, Facebook again, it was just a matter of time. This wasn't really my thing. Okay, I was AMD'd up, Nvidia'd up. I mean, this wasn't really my thing. But boy, oh boy. If Facebook really took off. If you're if you're still in this thing, this thing looks really good. They started coming for the two the 230, 240, and the 250 weeklies. Look, the stock is down a hundred something points. Yeah, you know, what do you think? It can't run up 20 points. So here is the pivot right here. 226 needs to build. Uh, if you're in this thing, uh, great job. Uh, so 226 went to uh, 233 and change. If, if Facebook can reclaim today's highs tomorrow, you could see 240, 250 in this name uh, if the market continues. Uh, AFRM went absolutely bananas today. Uh, AFRM reports tomorrow, they came for the 74, uh, 74 weeklies, the 85 weeklies, 69 uh, needs to build. AFRM went absolutely bananas bananas, right? So here is the whole 69 area, uh, stock win to 75 after hours. Uh, this thing is trading 76, 77, huge, huge move on AFRM. They report tomorrow uh, after the close. Uh, Apple, again, you know, just, just didn't do anything today. Uh, again, here is the out of the money buyers coming in on earnings, uh, the video. Uh, huge pivot here, uh, 257.50 supply, make some sales. This is from, from people yesterday who were long overnight from the 52 area. The begs, the next big level, and this is where the trade just went bananas, uh, confirms on February 2nd highs of 258.17 for a push to 262, 263. That was the first supply. They were coming in incredible. I mean, really, really incredible. They were coming in for the 260s, the 265s, the 270s, the 275. They saw 280s for the following week. So here is the 258.20s. Uh, the stock, you know, stock right now is trading 268 uh, after hours. Just a, a magnificent move. Look, look at this. It broke out here. Just never, just never went turned back. Just phenomenal, phenomenal move on NVIDIA. Uh, Amazon needs to wake its ass up. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Um, here is AMD. Uh, 131 push, then 132 push, and then it's trading 133 and change uh, after the close. Then I had a dentist appointment. I came back uh, a little bit before two o'clock. Uh, Facebook, a buyer came in here. A buyer came in for a thousand of the March 250 calls. Again, they're looking for an extension of this dead cat balance. I mean, just phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. AMD, NVIDIA, uh, Facebook, AFRM, uh, Qualcomm, just everything went nuts. With God's help tomorrow, uh, the big deal uh, pre-market is the CPI, right? The CPI tomorrow, uh, hopefully the bulls can uh, withstand any body blow if the number is weak uh, and engulf any bad news. Because the greatest, the greatest sentiment, right? The greatest clue if a market is good is if it stands bad news. So now that we're over the 200 day moving average, part due, can we hold a little love and get some love for the good guys for a little bit longer? Guys, have a great night. God bless. Great job today. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.